I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to play around with equations. These set of videos are for students who will be taking up calculus and it should form a good review for the concepts which they kind of know and they might have forgotten. The question here is find an expression for the function whose graph is the bottom half of the parabola x plus y minus 2 whole square equals to 0. Now this example is very tricky. Uh, we have kind of combined these terms and when we are saying function you need to really isolate y and then write your expression. Okay? So that's the exercise for you. You can always pause the video and answer the question. Now let's read this question once again. It says Find an expression for the function whose graph is the bottom half of the parabola, right? So, parabola have two parts, right? We need bottom half of the parabola. Let's begin with this equation, which is x plus y minus 2 whole square equals to 0. So, the idea here is to understand how to isolate y, right? So, the question is, we need to isolate y. What should we do? Should we expand this and then figure it out? That would be a mistake, right? So don't expand, right? So the caution here is don't expand, right? This is the real form which helps you to solve a quadratic equation. So we'll solve the quadratic equation. Now we'll take x to the other side. So we get y, oh, sorry, so we get y minus 2 whole square equals to minus x. Now we will square root. Remember, whenever you square root, you should always do take care of both positive and negative signs, right? So the idea is that minus 2 square is positive plus 2 square is also positive. So we do square root of negative x. At this stage, some students might think, well, that is not possible. We cannot have square root of a negative number. Well, x is all numbers. Think like this. At this stage, we are looking at the values of x which are less than or equal to 0. Right? So if I write minus 1, it makes it 1. And square root of 1 is 1, right? So that is valid. So that is what we have. So kind of, you know, domain is getting restricted for x. Now you can easily write what y is. So we say y is equals to 2 plus minus square root of minus x. Does it make sense? It does. So that becomes the expression for the function. But the question here says we need to write the expression for the bottom half of the parabola. Now what is that bottom half? So uh, let's look at the graph. Okay, so since x is less than 0, let me, let me take this edge and then, okay, so let me take this part of the graph, okay. Now remember, a function can be represented in four different ways. For example, here we have an equation we are representing uh, in the form of a graph. You can write some data to represent or in the words you can explain what the function is. So there are four different ways to express a function. Let's try to sketch this function now. So here we'll take x values, the independent variable, y, the dependent variable, 0. So if I substitute some values, as I was saying, we could have table of values, correct? So let's have some table of values. We'll calculate values and then, then write them down, right? So we'll calculate some values of x and calculate y for the same. Since we want to go to the left side of 0, so what we'll do is we'll pick from 0. If I write x as 0, then I get y as 2. And then let's say minus 1. If I write minus 1 here, minus 1 minus 1 is plus. So I get two values. Hmm. One value is 2 plus 1, which is 3. The other value is 2 minus 1 which is 1. So we get two values for this. Okay. Um, now 2 
minus 2 is going to give me square root. So I'll take a value like minus 4. So minus of minus becomes plus and 4 square root is 2. So you get 2 plus minus 2. 2 plus minus 2 gives me two values. One could be 4, the other one is 0, right? Likewise, I'll prefer to take minus 9 as the next value. That becomes square root of 9, which is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5 and 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So we get these values. Do you see that? So that is representing the function in this second form, which is data, right? Table of values. Okay. So as you can see here, we are representing this function in different forms also. Let me write down. So one form is equation, right? Second form is data. Third is the graph. Okay. Third is the graph. Okay. So let's plot this graph now. At x equals to 0, the value is 2. So let's say this is, this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, and 5. And here we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, uh, and minus 5. Okay. So let's begin. 5, 6, 7, 8, maybe 9. Okay. Don't worry. So at 0, we have 2. At 0, we have 2, just one point. At minus 1, we have 3 and 1. They're two values. So basically, it is not a function, right? So 1, 2, 3. Since we have two values, it is not a function. This is it. At minus 4, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Again, we have two values. One is 0. The other one is 4, right? So the one is kind of here. So let me just put some dots. And at minus 9, we have 5 as a value. Okay, maybe here. And minus 1 is another value. So let's say this is minus 1. So that gives you possible points on the graph. Joining these points, we can actually sketch our graph. Correct? Since it is kind of a parabola, which is looking towards the left side, opening leftwards, so we could we should have a good starting let's let's have this kind of a thing okay going fine so that is a smooth curve that's it and similarly on this side we can just kind of okay so that is the kind of graph which you get for the given function now what are we saying we are saying we want the graph bottom half of the parable so bottom half will be let me highlight this one okay with a different thing. So bottom half here is, okay, maybe highlight it, okay. So let me highlight this, bottom half of this graph. So this is the bottom half of the graph. Do you see that? This is the bottom half of the graph and we need equation of this bottom half of the graph. Now this equation is for two, right? You see those two values, correct? So what you're getting here is set of two values. Do you see that? We have y values, which is a set of two values. Now, this one is the top part, and that is the bottom part. Do you see that? So, we need this one. And how do you get these values? You get these values when, in the function, you write this as y equals to 2 minus square root of minus x. You will get the point. So, that becomes the solution of this question. So, the expression which represents the bottom half of this parabola is y equals to 2 minus square root of minus x, right? Now, as an exercise, what you can do is you can write domain and range of this function, right? So let's say domain of this function is what? Domain is x belongs to real numbers where x is less than or equal to 0, right? So all values on the left side and the range for this function is, now we're talking about the bottom of this portion only, right? So this is the point at 2. So y belongs to real numbers where y is less than or equal to 2, right? If I consider top part also, it is not a function since it will fail the vertical line test, correct? So all this is for the bottom half of the function. So that is how we understand functions and I hope this knowledge is going to really help you to move forward with calculus. I'm Anil Kumar, 
you can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best. Great.